Hang on. You I wash it first then. Well, I, I bought this because um, it was it's, if I bring the stuff that I, I make at home, it's really messy and it makes <laughs> it gets fibres absolutely everywhere. Yeah. So I, this is some I've, I've bought commercially that's already been washed and uh, washed and uh, carded. That's why it comes out in a really nice long, yeah. long stream like that. So um, it's very easy to spin. But I do usually start from a fleece. Yeah. Uh, attach this to the end of this piece of starter. Oh, it's lovely face. Electricity. I've got some electricity. And I'll plug myself in. Let's plug myself in. very boring because you could do this for about two hours <laughs> to get enough for a sheep. <laughs> what kind of was that one? This is Herdwick. I started um, with the fleeces because I couldn't get Herdwick that had already, or, or my supplies of Herdwick started drying up. Uh, the one that had come on the cone, you know, the ready spun stuff, mm -hmm. so uh, well, that's why I started getting, looking around for farmers to supply pieces. And most of my wool comes from a lovely man near Blencathra called Woolly Tyson. He's absolutely lovely. The yeah. lady at the lady at home, she, she, um, she, she sells everything. Does she? Yeah. Yeah, there, there are people that sell it, but yeah. it's about eight pounds for a hundred grams. So if you need nearly 100 grams to make a sheep, it makes sheep rather expensive to make, to be honest. So, uh, so it's best to do it with that. Well, if I've got time and uh, time more than money, it's easier to, <laughs> to do it yourself. You must, you must enjoy it. I'm just going to knit a tail for this sheep. I'm pleased they came in when you were here. Yes. Well, it's nice to, nice to get some cover. It is. Yeah. Oh, the tails aren't very big, so it won't take very long. <laughs> this is just very basic plain knitting, so I can remember how many rows to do. many sheep but it um it doesn't have to be on um, double ended needles you can do it on ordinary needles it's just that these are easier to step in my bag very quick I've got to get some wool first disadvantage of spinning your own wool is it doesn't hold together very well when you're trying to do the stitching up because it's only got one twist in it so it's a bit fragile inside out very easily done just loop over stitch because fortunately when you felt them up, the um, the seams don't show, so you don't have to be too careful. Uh, the cycle I put them on is just a 60 degrees standard wash, it's about two hours I think. But and stuffing? Stuffing, you after you've dried them out, they um, you have to reshape them when they come out the washing machine and dry them out. I put them on the radiator, they take about a day to dry out. Um, then, depending on the sheep breed, you, you stuff them with them. Um, I, I use uh, the filling from duvets because it's actually easier to get hold of in bulk than toy stuffing and more economical.
classic in the middle. sure that you sew it up with the same colour wool that you it sounds obvious but it's easy to get the wrong ball of wool out to stitch it up. <laughs> and if you don't use the same wool it can end up felting in a very strange way. do is put the feet on. I'm going to do this one with white feet. Each little bit doesn't take very long but together it can be a bit fiddly. of white on the bottom, give them some white feet. Okay, 